Okay, so today is day two on activating six weeks of making a lot of poi content uh, here in beautiful Peru, in the Sacred Valley, close to Cusco. And uh, today I'm going to talk about um, how to use single loop handles in what I call the Jedi grip, um, which you could also call a single loop palm grip, or you could also call uh, a butterfly knot, according to Jay Harmon, who is partially responsible for me remembering to finally make this video, is because he made a nice video about this, calling it a butterfly knot and a half butterfly knot, um, which is on YouTube already. So I'll link to that, because it was, he sent me a message and it was nice of him. Uh, but I call it sometimes a Jedi grip, because I feel like a Jedi when uh, I'm using it. And it's what I like about single loop handles so much, and why a single loop handle is so versatile. So, you need a single loop handle. When you've got it, and these, these are floops, these are from flow toys, which are sort of the nicest, you know, little kind of <coughs> setup I've seen so far. You take that, take kind of like a Spock fingering, and you just go over that, pinch, and then you fold the loop down over the fingers, and look, it's locked on your palm. So this lets you grip the toy in a few different ways. One is you can just go like that, and you're holding it like a key. I'll call that a key grip, which probably confused people because a key grip is also something else. But uh, so that's the key grip. You can also be on the palm or the back of your hand. And what's so awesome about this, but what takes practice, is learning to pass the toy from the palm to the back of your hand. Palm, back of the hand, palm back the hand, so it's always in which either is more comfortable or more useful for whatever you want to do. Because sometimes it's nice to have the poi on your knuckles. Like say you're just doing a weave and you want to be in kind of like a, a chi ball kind of thing. you got this nice ball of chi between your hands. Feels good. Looks cool. I you know. I like doing that. You're trying to keep the ball the same size. It can be a little chi ball or a big chi ball. For that, having the poi on your knuckles is really awesome. Uh, but there's other times where you want it on your palm. For instance, say, say the push at the small of your back, it's going to be a lot more comfortable if you simply have it on your palm. You have it on your knuckle, it's going to be really awkward. So this lets you have a nice, relaxed and straight wrist. You won't like it that much until you learn to pass it front to back. That's when it really gets uh, interesting. So that just is going to take practice. Um, put it on. Feel okay, there it is in the palm. Pass it to the back, pass it to the front. Back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front. And as you play, you'll just get used to the feeling that you're constantly letting it pass from front to back. And what you'll notice is that this lends itself to a really nice movement of the hands and wrist. Um, and so as you're playing, it becomes muscle memory. And this means you can be kind of expressive with your hands. So maybe you're doing a weave, it's on the back of your hands. You can do sort of a chi ball kind of thing. It's on my knuckles, so I can kind of have this ball of chi between my hands. But um, if I'm doing something like this, it can be on my palm. So as you play, you realize that all these different places, it becomes appropriate to hold it in different ways. So for instance, if I go into an orbital, I tend to grab in the key, right? and so I'm holding like this. Uh, same thing if I do a spiral wrap, I tend to grab it in the, I don't know what else to call it, like the holding the key position. I grab it there, and that's a really good place to go into a spiral wrap. Um, so I don't know, if you don't have single loops, you might want to try to get a pair. That's why I like them so much, because they're so versatile. Um, there's also, of course, good reasons. The other grip that's fun to use is like some kind of ball or, or knob, because then you can get into throws and tossing and changing from hand to hand. And I'll make a video about that soon, because Flow Toys has a special something coming out uh, soon. Uh, so, yeah, uh, enjoy, and let me know if you have any questions.